Would you sign a contract without consulting a lawyer? How about writing your own contract from scratch? Unless you happen to be a lawyer, I hope the answer is no. However, this is essentially what happens in the world of smart contracts. So what exactly is a smart contract, you might ask? Behind all the hype lies automated social contracts. These are programs that encode agreements between individuals and once deployed, enforce their terms automatically. This allows strangers to come together in collaboration. A prime example of this was the anonymous venture capital fund known as the DAO. While this was a noble project, this smart contract fell victim to a single software bug, analogous to a loophole in a legal contract, which led to its failure and the exploitation of 48 million Canadian dollars. Clearly, smart contracts are in need of their own form of legal aid. In the world of computer science, we call this kind of aid automated program verification. Unfortunately, program verification is an impossibly hard task. That is to say, it's impossible to take any possible smart contract and tell you precisely whether or not it has a loophole. This isn't a hypothesis, it's a fact. And computer scientists refer to it as undecidability. So given undecidability, the goal of smart contract verification might seem like nothing more but a hopeless pipe dream. But thankfully, this doesn't have to be the case. If you look closely at what I said about undecidability, it assumes we are looking at every possible smart contract and that we are finding every single loophole precisely. My colleagues and I have followed in the footsteps of the people before us, and we take two steps to dance around undecidability. First, we tailor our analysis to the smart contracts people are actually writing by doing empirical analysis. Second, we allow for the occasional false alarm. That is, we might say that there's a loophole when we really aren't sure. So how are we doing this? My research specifically looks at a technique known as local reasoning. This technique isn't new, but it's hard to apply out of the box. My research is looking to make this more applicable to smart contracts and able to be applied automatically. So let's take a look at how local reasoning actually works. We can think about it in terms of a legal contract. Let's say you're a lawyer trying to verify a contract between a company, its contractors, and its clients. You could sit back and consider every possible company and every possible contractor, but this would take a really long time, and realistically, there's no reason to do that. However, if you only looked at one contractor, you might miss possible conflicts between multiple contractors. A lawyer's expertise will allow him or her to find a balance. However, in the world of smart contracts, state-of-the-art tours actually consider every possible client. By using local reasoning, I'm able to consider less cases, handle more complicated loopers, and find results faster. Hopefully, this will lead to a safer smart contract world in the future. Thank you.